Okay, okay, let's see if we've got an assortment planned for boys' garments and we want to be able to pull certain information out of it. One way to do so is to use pivot tables. So the first thing I'm going to do is name this table. Include the headings, absolutely critical that the headings are included there and I'll just call this assort underscore because it doesn't like empty uh, blank spaces and make sure you press enter. Then if we go to a new sheet and find the insert tab up here and pivot table on the end and the first thing Excel will ask you is what do you want to name the range so sorry where do you want to draw the information from so just type in the sort of boys and the actual location on this sheet so I'm just going to randomly pick a cell and press OK now this next part you don't have to do but it makes it easy to explain how it all works I'm going to right click on this pivot table go to options find display yours will look slightly different but same headings and look for the classic pivot table layout and simply press OK OK we're ready to go if you notice on the right hand side that you have all these titles which are the headings on the previous table on sheet one so class subclass etc now appear here and if I want to pick one up let's say color and drag it across with your mouse over to drop row fields you'll notice it, out of the information it pulls out all of the available covers colors if I don't like it there I can just remove the tick and we're back to an empty shell or equally I could pick it up and drag it and have it going across the top of the table as such so you can play around and make it work in a variety of ways so I'm going to put it on the side and then I'm going to choose total units which again is this column so we've got 50 aqua of the t-shirts in a directional range and this time, if you drop it in this center area, watch what it does. It goes along and counts. So it's basically telling us there's 120 garments overall in this entire sheet uh, that are aqua in color, 490 beige, etc. Again, if you don't like it, you can just remove the tick and drop it in. So really, pivot tables are about experimenting, dropping things in, or removing aspects of it. Now if you want to convert these into percentages, we need to go down to this area here and where you've got your totals or the values, so sum of totals, I click on that and let's look at the value field settings and again how do you want to show your values as a percentage of the grand total, if I click on that and press OK, it now converts them into percentages. If I then want to turn this into a chart, simply click on Pivot Chart up here. Select one, so I'll use a pie chart in this instance. And maybe select that one, press OK, and there's our chart. And then you can right click and play around with your labels and such. If you want to format the labels and add, what do we want? I want to add a category name. Remove that one, and there's our chart as such. One thing you have to recall though is if I make a change now to this, you lose your chart as well. So, one idea if you want to maintain the charts, what you can do is highlight this table, copy it, and go to a, another area and paste the values. It must be the values. If you paste a normal paste you simply repaste the pivot table so paste the values and then you can make a chart out of that area yourself and that leaves you free to go back to your original pivot table remove everything you may wish to delete this one and you might now pick up your basics directional and fashion core and off you go again in terms of colours or units
or whatever you like. So pivot tables is fundamentally about exploration. Uh, you could break this up into basics across August. Or if you don't like that, perhaps uh, can we do it over class? Maybe we'll use a subclass. Basics, and you've got your jackets, jumpers, directional jackets, jumpers, again, and then if we pick up our total units, and now it starts to break it down into those numbers.